are many types of seizures. The most common is fever-related, called a febrile seizure. Those happen most often in infants and children up to age six. It's important for all caregivers to know how to manage a seizure. First, stay calm so that you can provide effective help. Then focus on preventing injury that may result from the seizure. Stay close to the child, but don't hold them down. Move any objects that are sharp or hard, and if your child will let you, roll them onto their side so fluids drain out of their mouth. Now make them as comfortable as possible. Take off glasses or anything that is hard. Take off any tight clothing, especially around the neck. Then put something soft, like a folded jacket or sweater, under their head. Keep bystanders away from the child. Watch to see how long the seizure lasts, and note how your child looks and moves so you can give the doctor an accurate report later. For example, how were the child's eyes moving? Were they turned in one direction or looking straight ahead? Which part of the body was shaking? Were the movements symmetric? Don't give the child water, food, or medication until the seizure is over and the child is fully alert. They may be drowsy or confused for a while after the seizure. Stay calm, low-key, and be reassuring. All children who have had a seizure should be assessed by a doctor. If you're alone with a child, call an ambulance. You don't want to risk having the seizure recur while you're driving and the child is alone in the back seat. Finally, first, it's not true that a child can swallow their tongue. Also, seizures with fever don't cause brain damage, nor are they caused by brain damage. A child with febrile seizures will grow to that tendency, usually by age six.